my page ranks about one, two, three, four, which is pretty good considering it's it's minimal. But actually, don't use keywords. I'm very careful just to to just only set the description to, to noise ratio ex as high as possible. I don't put too many words on on the page. I'm just absolutely careful. Just to, every word must mean something on that page. The next thing, um, besides just using a description and obviously you know a good outline page is as well marked up as possible and everything makes sense a good structure here you know like the, the title of the thing and then it broken down to points that the page is validated w3c da, 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 da. i also very careful to make sure that the page is as fast as it can be so this is this will be a good signal to google if your page is like 99 or 100 or something like this you know i'd it tells you what to do here. I'm not going to go through the things. I mean, I could maybe make this a bit better, but whatever. 99 is what I go for and 99 is what I got. The other thing is Webmaster Tools. They've renamed it to Search Console, I think recently. The big difference like from this and like saying using like, I don't know, Mixed Panel or Google Analytics is this actually shows you the how the Google, uh, Google bot basically viewed your site sort of thing. You got to think like, oh, how are people going to actually, you know, I asked my wife or somebody else, like, if you're going to use my app, what, what, are, what, are the, what are the two words or three words? I mean, the more words you have, um, I think is a bit more problematic. I, I, I think I focused on two words here, bus arrival, and then I optimize everything for bus arrival. I think I'm pretty happy with that pointing or, you know, get different things to point to the app. And if, if those blogs are not high quality, it will bring the whole product down. So it's like, it's something uh, I avoid basically because it's not in my control. Jokes aside, the people are doing this, right? And they're doing it in a meaningful way. Mm. And they're generating meaningful traffic for their sites mm. that they otherwise wouldn't have, wouldn't have done. Um, and of course, the idea of landing people on your site is not just for uh, basically for, for laughs, right? It's so that people, you actually have a funnel that you basically throw people into to drive some sort of a conversion so that people uh, purchase an offer from you. Let, uh, again, this is anecdotal. This is just my uh, my theory, which is probably quite quite easily wrong. If you optimize your web application for referrals, you know, like uh, you know, parameter you what do you call it? refer equals uh, Facebook post or something like this, or um, you, you know, you you put something in the URL to track it or something like this. I think Google will probably uh, not rank your site as highly as just a site that had nothing on it. Why, you might be asking, is because Google make money by ads. They want you, if the minute you they know that you're basically spending an effort to basically reward people to push the, push people to your site, the minute they will obviously think to themselves, well, they should be using AdWords to do that thing. And if they're not using AdWords, and there's no reason why I'm gonna I'm gonna pump the site. You know what I mean? There's a so there's a there's a huge incentive for I, them. I don't know, right? Because this stuff is very opaque to me. So you find these keywords yeah. that are easier to write content for that will get you to rank in the search results. You write content that target those keywords. Yeah. And when people search, because you are one of very few sites that actually matches to a high degree, the content or the search uh, query, people will land on your page, which is how you end up. The yeah. idea of how you rank is basically by being in the top 10 search results. Right? Yeah. If you're in the top 10 search results, you'll, you'll generate higher click-throughs to your site organically. Yeah, as I mentioned with my keyword thing, I just kept it to two. I, my concern here is that you're gonna go for, for a whole bunch. I am going to go for a whole bunch, which means the, it's gonna be different articles, like lots um, of blog articles, lots of content that will target um, lots of different I, subjects. I, I, I honestly think that approach doesn't work. It's called content marketing. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I, I don't think it works as well as just focusing on just the two, on just two words sort of thing. The other thing I wanted to point out is that if you've ever used Google AdWords, and I used to use AdWords, uh, you know, in, in previous companies, and we had, you know, a big budget and things like this. Um, you can use the Google AdWords tools to basically tell you how expensive a, a word is, basically, mm. which is quite interesting because the more expensive the word is, 
the more you know that people are pay- placing bids on that on that word. Right. So that's interesting because if you're trying to, I don't know, optimize for car sales Singapore, and there are 100 people putting bids in for car sales, you're not going to get very fucking far because Google will obviously prioritize those bids because people are paying for the those first, words. The first 10 search results are going to be ads. Exactly. Matching the keywords. Exactly. So you, the kind of words that you kind of need to choose, sometimes I'm not saying that you should choose the most obvious two words. Sometimes you just got to pick your battles and say, like, you know, bus, like, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense in my particular example, but you got to have, you got to be mindful that if the word is too, I don't know, hot, you, you're going to struggle. You're going to definitely struggle. Sure. Google still dominates search, right? And Google does have all the tools that, that, that you need to look at. Google will tell you where your word ranks. Google will tell you about the clicks. Google will tell you about the keyword. Uh, what do you call it? It will tell you about the position. There are lots of tools. I've, I've seen lots of like SEO tools there that, oh, we will tell you about the position. And, uh, and then we will give you alerts if your position drops off, you know, the top 10 or something, or it's increasing. But I think that every single one of them somehow is a bandage on top of Google stuff, or they just make it up. You, there's one thing that people don't realize, like, for example, Papo, um, Alexa doesn't even exist anymore. You have, for example, right, a very low click through rate for the words that you're actually ranking for. You have a 3.3% click through rate. Well, I arguable. Well, um, based on my previous like professional experience where I've had to work with people yeah. who wanted the site to perform better, yeah. I remember this being one of the metrics that they tracked. Oh, yeah, sure, for sure. Especially sure. if you're doing paid traffic, right? If you're sure. doing paid advertising, then click-through rate directly impacts your ROI. Exactly, on your, on your exactly. Funnel. So um, I don't know if this factors into it, but my suspicion would be that Google will downgrade your ranking if historically the stuff that you um, are, are, are putting in front of people or the links that they're suggesting generates a low click-through rate simply because it is kind of an organic signal to the algorithm, I think, yeah. that it's not relevant. Maybe I misunderstood click-through rate. Isn't click-through rate the fact that people who just clicked the result? Yeah, I mean... Look at this destructor. It's the percentage of people that click the result. It doesn't. It doesn't indicate that they backed out. Yeah, I don't. It, it, it doesn't. The percentage it, of impressions that resulted in a click. Yeah. So it's no, basically they get. No, this is exactly what I thought it was. It's like Google. Pre, Google presented this a hundred times to people. Yeah. And only three three point three people yeah. out of a hundred clicked. Yeah, but you, you, out of a hundred impressions of your search. You got to remember that if you look. If you look at the the search results, you know mine is like you know the sixth one of a whole bunch, yeah. And these ads. So if 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 I get three percent of those clicks with all the other sh- crap on the web page, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. Yeah, I mean, no. u- ultimately, what what you need to optimize for, as 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 anyone will tell you, is is like like I don't really like pay much attention to this, right? But the 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 but with anything, you just want to get better, don't you? So you just got to make sure that the trend looks good. If, well, if, I would, I would, I would want my click-through rate to be higher. Yeah, sure. And I would definitely want. So right now, my 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 site traffic. Don't is know basically why that's so high. At zero, right? So I'm, I've got a big fat egg. Yeah. For my for my site traffic. Yeah, but like don't don't, don't like optimize like, I, I wouldn't even focus on this CTR. It doesn't matter. The, oh, it, it matters to me. Or at least the, I think it should matter. <laughs> All you want to do is make sure the, these things just trend upwards. Yeah, but yours are not. They're flat. No, I don't it's say so. completely flat. I mean, it goes down, it goes up. It's, it's no. sort of, it's, it's, like, it's consistently between that. 2 and 4%. Look at that. That was 2% um, yeah, but, uh, six months ago. So over here, and now, now getting... And now it's 3.4%. Yeah, and you've got like highs, like outside. Yeah. outside I'm happy with this. And dude, I've do, I do zero, uh, what do you call it? Content marketing. I know I do zero effort for this. This thing just goes. This yeah, just, I, just goes. I would. I, I, I haven't changed a word or anything for for years. Bit bang. 
and cross my fingers and, and pray that that it's useful well if you want results now stefan you, you just gotta pay that's no, that's no, simple as want, simple I as everything. I don't want to pay, and I don't want, and I don't need results okay. now. Okay. Well, you gotta like got you gotta months. you gotta imagine so how much time you have in your life. Like for example, I'm assuming you want to pimp your park run barcode, barcode thing. thing. Yeah. If to be honest, I would say you need to pay. No. Because so, because you months. you cannot okay so cha get the challenge is organic months. results. I'm speaking to the camera now. The challenge is that two months from now, Kai and I are going to have this conversation again, mm -hmm. and the website that I built that lets you add mm -hmm. a Parkrun barcode to your Apple Wallet application in iOS is going to start ranking. Not as a consequence of his following on this channel, <laughs> but as a consequence of paid not non paid sorry organic uh, organic content marketing. Mm -hmm. That I'm going to try and do for, for the site. That's all I know about SEO. I hope you're better informed. Did you what did you learn? Any takeaways? I had an idea of what it is that I wanted you to tell me how to do, right? So I came here with a preconceived idea. I want you to tell me how to do content marketing. Instead, you told me how to do site optimization, which I kind of already know how to do. I make sure my site is fast, I optimize for a couple of words, and it should just trend upwards on the search console. Chill up, everybody. Bye-bye.